Whoever pleases the people and in the process displeases or angers the Almighty, the Almighty will be displeased with that person and very soon the people will also be displeased with that person. So you have to build your life. Today if people love you for the wrong things, one thing can happen in your life and they will still hate you. They will abandon you. But if people love you for the right things, you can't go wrong. Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us develop. May He help us really within our homes. We have so many difficulties and issues. So when there is a difficulty we haven't been able to solve it, the Quran speaks about al hakamain The Quran speaks about al hakamain Before the hakamain there is one way of resolving matters. A slight separation may help sometimes. You are within the same home, but you might want to think over your relation. So come on, you can get this. No shortage of women. I was told that women here in Malaysia are much more in number than the males. I can hear people saying five, six. I don't know what those figures are supposed to be standing for. But to be honest with you, whatever it is, it is very wrong to advise your friend to say, you know what, leave her, you'll get someone else. Someone. Don't break a home. So, in separation, mix with the right people. Your best friends are those who are hard on you. It's a fact. My beloved sisters, my beloved brothers, your best friends are those who can tell you as it is. They tell you what you do not want to hear. Those are your best friends. Listen, you know what? I think you're wrong. Come on. He's such a good man. You know, look at the positives of it. How could you walk up? This is genuine. They are thinking of you and your children. They are mature in their thinking. Not the modern Hollywood thinking where something small happens, one SMS on the phone, give us it, go home. <laughs> That's what's happening. If that was the case, it's so easy to break the marriage of a person. All you need to do is just say that I really love you more than she does to, her, to his phone. And the marriage is over. She just has to see it. If the intention of both parties is to solve the problem, it will be solved. But if one of the parties is trying to prove that the other one was wrong, and this one is trying to prove that that one was wrong, you won't find a solution. No solution. Because the minute someone says, no, you know, you need to do this, no, he was wrong, or she was wrong. I want her to admit her error and she was wrong. Is this, is this a meeting in order to prove who was right and wrong? If that's the case, we may not move forward. Put it back behind you and promise from today we are not going to do this and from today we are going to start a new leaf that is a way even with the maker with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we have engaged in sin you need to appoint people you respect whose solution you will adopt so when they come and say look we'd like you to give it another chance and we think you know you need to improve on x y and z and he needs to improve on a b and c and this is what needs to happen you surrender to what they have decided because you both want to solve the matter. Tell how people go wrong. Number one is time. We spoke about time. T-I-M-E. Time. Time is such that if you don't spend it with the right people at the right times, you may destroy a home. Some people don't have time for their wives. They're working every day, all day, morning to evening. Come weekends, I school. You, and your children also need you. You have another role to play as a father of the home or the mother of the home. They have a maid, they have a child minder who looks after the child. So you find that they accept the religion of the child minder, they speak the language of the child minder.